so the girls and I are going to a couple stores today. We're going to find presenter gifts for the speakers at our conference in the UK called the Peaceful Parenting and Natural Learning Conference. I'm so excited to head over there. We go in about a week and a half. We have a lot to do to prepare. 13 days. What, Ivy? 13 days. They're not excited or anything. Counting down the days and the hours. So we're in traffic right now in Conway and we are going to have a great day. The girls and I are going to hit Starbucks first and fuel up and uh, then we're going to hit the stores and find some great gifts for the people speaking at the conference. I can't wait to meet them all in person. These are great, amazing people and it's going to be great. So we're at the bank. I'm cashing a book check to be able to have some Starbucks money for me and my girls. Hi, hi. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Um, can we have one lollipop, please? Yeah, I'll a green. What color, honey? Green. Green, please. Green. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bye. Yay, my lollipop. <laughs> can we stop it? You should go to eat a lollipop. Starbucks gifted me just just a whole half pound of coffee beans. That was so for free. Yeah. Yeah. She said I could just have it. She said somebody somebody opened it by mistake. She wrote vegan on it? It says Verona, so type oh, oh, okay. I love what I'm we like, attracted oh. to our like experience, the awesome people that kindness and love that flows from other people. I need to stop drinking this so I can take a photo. Let me see the name on that, too. Michael. <laughs> I'm Michael. The girls love to give the names of Starbucks of their favorite uh, musicians, so they call the name out. They love it. So you're Michael, Michael Clifford from... From Fudge and Summer. From what? Fudge and Single Summer. And Ivy, who did you say you were today? Chandler. Chandler from... Walking Dead. Oh, from Walking Dead. She loves Chandler. Chandler, what's his last name? Riggs. Chandler Riggs, the yeah, boy from Walking Dead. Thank you. I know they don't. They never spell my name right. I'm used to it. It's all good. D A N A is the more Donna. common spelling. Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, mom. Well, that's how Donna. you spell Dana. Actually, most people spell it this way. Hi, Donna. How are you, Donna? Um, this is mine too. I'm Dana. Donna. I'm Donna. Nice to meet you. This is thank you, mom. I like that. I want something a little funkier though. How many cards are in here? This one's religious. I don't want that. I like the peace one. Wait, this is like a dance one. It's just dance right here. Bingo, found it. Total unschooly quote. Love it. Thanks, Mr. Einstein. Uh, I want to sleep in this tonight. I know, it's so cozy. Good night. Good night, my love. Oh. <laughs> I want all of them. <laughs> okay, I'm done with it. Ivy's gonna, I'll come and wake you up, Ivy, when we're done shopping, okay? All right. What do you want, Mary? Uh, there's a um, jar with this. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, I see it. Is this something you love? I like love it. Favorite? You hardly ever get it. Do you guys use honey? Oh, yeah. It's a good one. It's a good price. I'll, I'll leave yeah. it for you if you want it. No, no, you take oh, okay. it. No, please, no. You're, you're the one that found the score. You take the score with you. I don't want to take it from you. I don't want to take it from you. No, no, it's not I was good. waiting and waiting and waiting. and. We just couldn't have kept asking the guy who's ordering and said, it's not showing up, it's not showing up. And I came by and there they were and I thought, I, I certainly would leave you one if you don't. Thank you so much. You know what? I have a bunch of raw honey at home. Very good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your help. No problem. Happy to help. Front row. Always. We always get a front row no matter how crowded they are. We totally manifest the front row parking space every time. So we roll. All right. I just always know, I always know there's going to be a parking spot right in the front, every time. And they're always And you manifested it. I manifested it. Need to get here, sweetie? Fabric for Frosty's eye, like everything. Oh, okay. 
Let's see. And there's like these ones and stuff. Oh, felt. Like that would work good. really good. That would work really, really right good. Right there. This? Yeah, crafting these felt. No, this one. These, these two are crafting. These have sticky stuff on the bottom. Oh, no, no they don't, honey. I don't want this, though. I want to get, like, one thing red. She okay, well, then just pick a look at all the colors in here. Oh, yeah. But for us, you might like one of these kind of things, though. Maybe. Because I'm pretty crazy. Frosty is Ivy's favorite treasured stuffed animal. She wants to make him little eye, a little blindfold for sleep because she's going to have one on the plane. So she wants him to have one on the plane. She likes everything miniature of a real life thing she loves for her little Frosty. Cute, see? You think everything mini is cuter? Yeah, see? These are ugly and these hmm. are cute. The mall is packed, but watch. I'm going to get a front row parking. Always do. See, most people just go to the back. They don't, like, right in the front. Hello, baby. Always, always, always. <laughs> right in front of where we're going. Hey, now. All right, you gotta just believe, people. Believe. You gotta believe that there's that front row parking spot there for you, but it will be. Oh my God, the Gap has sweatpants, but they're $36. When did this happen? I haven't, like, shopped for sweatpants in many years. I don't wear them. But I can't believe that. I thought they were like five or ten bucks anyway. Okay. Oh, those are cute. I like the fabric. Well, these 40, would be... $50 almost. $45. Okay. My frugal thrift store shopping girls are like blown away with the prices. No, we never really go in stores like this. We like to recycle, reuse, go to thrift stores. Um, so this is an adventure. This is $20. 20 for that little t-shirt? Who would buy that? How much an actual flannel is? Well, you guys love them. You have so many. dollars I'm done. I'm scared. How much? Are they the same price? Mom, look at. Come. How much did you pay for yours? Free. <laughs> How much is it here? Forty-four dollars. Crazy. Part of being entrepreneurs is not only making money, but it's saving money. That's a huge part of uh, being an entrepreneur is looking for the best deals and the best uh, ways to spend your money. And it's crazy. We're at my favorite farm stand. I always headed on the way home in the summer. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, what one looks better? I think this one looks better. I mean, yeah. Pick out whichever ones you want, sweetie. Hmm. This is your favorite. Ooh, yeah. Oh my goodness, this one looks good because they're really tiny. When they're tiny, they're super sweet. These ones are tiny. Look at. Mm, okay. Is this the one you want to get? Okay. I guess. Marshmallow has been a free-range outdoor bunny for quite a while. How long has it been, do you think, Devin? Since I was in Peru. Okay. It's been a year, I thought. So, hi, sweetie. You have buggies. She's such a sweet, beautiful girl. And she's happy as can be out here. So, Devin's bringing me to his, what he calls his lodge. He was really into it for a long time, building it and adding on to it. But it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Since you... You know, took a little break from working on it. You were kind of deeply immersed in the blacksmithing. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to get back into the lodge focus? I don't know at all. I just did. I walked out here to get something. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll fix this place up. Rent it out to some foreigners. <laughs> um, I think that's really interesting about kids and their interest is it's really normal to take a break from them for a while. And then parents sometimes get frustrated and think, They've invested all this time in something and they just dropped it when in fact they really need to take a pause from it. I do the same thing. I get really into uh, making new recipes with raw vegan food and then kind of take a break from it for a while. But anyway, so here. So you go ahead and just show me. So you added the new greenery, I see. Yeah, I'm going to do the rest of that soon. I have to do that rest of it later today. And yeah, I have to take down one more tree and then I have to... I don't know what else I have to do. I have to do a lot still. Because all the leaves everywhere here that are easily accessible have been taken up for this. 
Oh my goodness. That's a lot. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this is going to be. It's going to be nothing. It's not going to happen. I have to take it down. Why? It's, I don't even know what I, I honestly didn't know what I was trying to do there. Well, you got a couple, three or four months. You can work on it before snowfall. Well, snowfall is going to be really nice. Really nice? Yeah. Because then the walls will be like this thick. Oh, yeah. All the snow, I'll sleep in here all the time. It'll be so nice. i got to make a door for it, though. There's a really big spider in here yesterday. Oh, yeah, Ivy, tell me about that. How big was it? Like this big. It was the biggest one I've ever seen here. Where was it? Just, Just in, I was making a fire in there, and then it was above me. <laughs> it was very, very grateful for such a beautiful house that yeah. you built it. We're going to take a peek at Devin's gourds. He's been growing all summer. Oh my goodness, that's huge! There's this one. This one's almost full sized, wow. actually. Um, there's a couple little this ones. One's gonna get this big. one's huge, Devin. Look at that one. Yeah, I know. That one's really long. And then there's a really fat one right there. Oh! <laughs> Those are the three big ones. Cool. That I found. There might be more, but I don't think there are. More should grow, though. Oh, there's a lot of tiny ones. My tomatoes are finally ripening. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have a tomato. We've been doing pretty good. We have some blueberries growing in our fields every year, and they're almost ready. Most we, of them are. We have, like, a, uh, like a blueberry. <laughs> there's a couple blueberries. Oh, yum. Can do anything with them? Oh, I can eat them now. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> mm. Oh, there's... Devin, there's a bunch! The kids are playing hide and seek in our fields. I love living here, it's so pretty. We have so many opportunities for the kids to be able to connect with nature and play and it's awesome. What are those for, Dev? I know they're for your lodge, but what? For a part of the wall. Oh, okay. They're like the best for type of wall, but they're really annoying, so I'm just doing it in small pieces that are important. Devin is coming to hide too! I'm ready! But Devin needs to hide! When I look at my my firstborn, I'm so proud of him for all he's done and his freedom and becoming a blacksmith and he went to Peru for five weeks without his parents and I mean he's done so much in his life and his ability to play and, and his ability to play and have fun with his siblings is beautiful to me. He's so perfect and I love him so much. I'm just so grateful for all that Devin is. I feel that way about all my children.